Hello girls and guys ladies and gentlemen welcome back to Robot Thoughts Zero to Hero series Vision Intelligence and Robotics on Jets and Nano All right guys we are on lesson number 17 and I am going to show you how to configure lidar on Jets and Nano I did give you an intro a very short intro about lidar but just just to give you a quick background this is the lidar I am talking about and this is what I am going to connect to jetson nano so basically guys uh, this is from uh, this is a rp uh, lidar from a company called slamtech okay there are various versions of this lidar from a1 a2 a3 and m8 and kind of thing it gets very advanced so this is a pretty basic and uh, low cost uh, lidar which you can easily procure uh, in amazon or somewhere else right uh, and this is this is basically a 2d lidar okay uh, the rp lidars work by rotating a laser emitter and a receiver okay there is a emitter and a receiver right uh, the laser basically emits the light out and the receiver hits that particular object and sends the light back into the receiver so uh, because the receiver knows when the light was emitted okay and it can also measure accurately how long it takes for the light to reflect back from any objects into the light's path right when it's reversing back into the receiver so then it does some mathematical operations and calculates the distance of the object and these things happen dynamically guys within fraction of micro milliseconds okay so the rp lidar uh, this particular uh, model has a scan rate of about 15 hertz which that means this can provide up to 4000 samples per second that's the amount of data it's going to gather after hitting into the objects around the environment while rotating like this right and almost 4000 samples it can uh, collect the angular resolution is about 0.9 degrees okay so i i'm going to talk about all these resolutions and the cpr rate and and the sample rates and kind of things at a later series when we get more details uh, so basically the range uh, for this is about 5 meters about 5 to 6 meters outdoor in outdoor environment that is outside this particular room when you go outside anywhere on the ground open ground or somewhere else right and about 15 meters indoors okay so i i have personally tested this and it works fantastic both indoor and outdoor as well so now in this particular lesson i am going to show you how to connect this to your jetson nano and set up few libraries and do some basic setups and configurations and start gathering some data all right that's what we are going to learn today all right guys So let me just connect this to my Jetson Nano. Okay. Uh, let me just a uh, second. You can use any of the USB port, guys. I am using one of this, and this is connected. So let ma make sure that it's little away from your Jetson Nano. All right. I'll just keep it here. I hope you guys can see this. All right. Perfect. Now what we need to do Now let's write some scripts and commands to install the lidar on your Jetson Nano. All right. So, let's open the terminal. I am on my terminal already. And follow this command so first we need to guys what we need to do is we need to give access permission to our jetson nano usb port to connect it to the lidar serial port all right so you you need a special access and you got to make sure that jetson nano is talking to your lidar so lidar has got a serial port right so that has to be converted into usb and your jetson nano usb need to accept those commands and send the signal and receive the signal right so you need to give the access how do we give ls one second ls space minus l space 
forward slash dev and then you need to put yeah this line uh, there needs to be a space okay and then space g r e p t t y and then uppercase u s b all right i hope this takes up let's see yeah there you go so it, it took up so the output of the command must uh, it shows that it's just got the read access right now so we need to set up another command to give a write access as well can you see that crw see the the second line crw rw so now we need to change that access now how do we change so there is a command for that let me show it to you it's called one second it's called sudo yo super do ch mod m o d triple six and then space and then forward slash d e v and the forward slash t t y okay and the uppercase u s b zero all right i hope this takes up let's see boom it has taken up all right because there's no error so now what we need to do is we need to uh let's let's just see let's check with uh, another command called usb devices let's check if the usb device is getting accessed so let's see usb minus minus devices oh man there are tons of output so idly in this case one second let me just enlarge the windows if possible mm. so idly in this case you should be able to see if hash equal to 0 and then it should show a driver on the i think it should be on the top it should ideally show a usb to uart <coughs> if it shows usb to uart then you are successful usb to uart okay yeah there you go all right this is the one guys so it's been installed successfully that's what it says and it's the permission has been granted all right looks good all right now what we need to do is <coughs> now we need to uh, let me just clear this window <coughs> clear now we need to go to slamtech slamtech's github repository and grab some of their sdk files all right so that that's what we are going to import through git and do the installation so how do we do that git clone https colon slash slash github dot com forward slash uppercase s l a m t e c slam tech slam tech s l a m t e c slam tech forward slash r p lidar l i d a r r p lidar underscore we need to import the software development kit s d k all right let's see all right it's cloning great all right now let's get into that particular folder cd r p l i d a r <coughs> excuse me minus sorry underscore r p lidar underscore s d k forward slash s d k uh, right 
okay we are into that particular folder let's check what is there inside the folder you need to execute a ls command to list it out and then there is something called sdk can you see that a blue color sdk yeah so we need to get into that sdk folder so how do we get into that cd sdk all right we are into that sdk <coughs> now guys what we need to do is we need to compile this entire program what we just downloaded and got into that particular folder right so how do we compile we need to issue execute a make command m a k e make all right this is going to take just few minutes not more than maybe two minutes it should run pretty quick again this will depend upon your network uh, speed guys so yeah there you go so now that we are into we have downloaded so let's see now we need to get into let's check what is there in the list okay there is a include make file there is one second mm, ls cd output no there is no such directory let's let me go back again dot dot cd mm -hmm. change let me just check what is there okay what we may want to do is let me just check what exactly has been downloaded because we need to make sure that the entire package has been compiled all right all right so now we need to get into uh, the output folder right in sdk if you look at the list so can you see uh, there is a folder called output now we need to get into that right now let's see cd output okay oops i just type d it's not going to execute cd space output okay all right so once you are there into output let's check what is there inside that folder ls all right there's something called linux now let's get into that linux and then one second cd linux all right we are into linux now let us check what is there inside linux ls release there you go guys so you are successfully you have installed the entire package because you can see that release folder inside the entire path right that's very important now what we need to do is uh, uh, let's say let's get into that release okay cd release all uh, right i hope this works now now we need to run a very simple uh, program uh, which actually it's a sample uh, program which will execute uh, the lidar to operate and start gathering some data around the environment okay and it will throw it up on your terminal itself right uh, which comes in built actually so the program is called forward dot forward slash ultra minus simple okay let's hit enter what happened for dot forward slash ultra underscore s i m p l e simple why is it saying there is no such directory okay i think we need to go back into the release uh yeah so let me let me just go back into that particular uh, release folder and then let's execute this command and see what happens okay now we are into the release folder and there's something called 
एल आई बी आर पी लीडर अंडर स्कोर एस डी के डॉट ए सो लेट्स ट्राई टू रन दिस सैम्पल प्रोग्राम डॉट फॉरवर्ड स्लैश यू एल टी आर ए अल्ट्रा अंडर स्कोर एस आई एम पी एल ई सिंपल नो सच फाइल और डायरेक्ट्री वाई इज दैट All right, guys. Now that has been executed, right? So, the, can you see that? Can you see the amount of data it's collecting? Okay, the lidar is rotating very fast. Boom! There you go, guys. It's working perfectly. Let me just switch over the camera and show it to you. How that looks like? Can you see this? It's working perfect, guys, and it's all. the lidar also is showing up tons of data all right this looks pretty fantastic all right there you go can you see the amount of data is gathering i can just put my hand in between and it should show 0 0 0 can you see that that means there is literally there is nothing in front it's kind of your your yeah can you see that the distance it's calculating now let me remove my hand let me just keep it again zero and then again maybe it's just detecting some of the objects behind me uh, i have a couple of 3d printers and robots lying around on the table so it's just detecting uh, the distance between all those objects all right guys we are all set look at that look at that how fast it is man that's pretty good that's pretty fantastic it's neat so what what you may want to do is there are see at the bottom there are four screws here so you'll have to mount this somehow figure out a way to you know uh, mount this on your uh, whatever the chassis you have i will show you to you how to do that at a later stage so right now we are just doing the basic configuration and stuff okay All right guys I think that's come up very well so that's it guys uh, that's it for the day today and uh, yeah I hope you enjoy this lesson and do please give a thumbs up and give me a like and do leave a comment below I am going to put all these details and commands uh, in the below description so you can just follow and take a look at my video and step by step instructions and guys have fun i am going to come back to you soon with multiple more lessons very soon bye bye until then